Hi guys. Not in the garage today. I'm actually in my office. Uh, some of you know that I'm turning our shed into a um, art studio. And that's just taking way too long for me to wait to do another pour video or something. So uh, I've had this little dish here, which is a candle holder. I've got paper down inside it right now. But it's a candle holder. And I, I thought, well, I don't know if I want to paint it to uh, have paint down in there to do for a candle holder. Anyway, I decided last night, in the middle of the night, that I have this one leftover succulent, artificial succulent that I got at Dollar Tree that I want to try to, um, after I've done a paint pour on this, then I'm going to put some rocks in there and build it up. And anyway, it'll look pretty, I hope. Underneath this, I have a, just an 8 by 10 sheet of glass that came out of a frame from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to catch on and pour and then when it's dry it'll just go back in a frame. Be a cute little picture. And I'm only using paints that I've already had mixed up that I'm trying to get rid of some. And um, I started with this pink in this cup here. And I'm going to, and I think they're all pretty much the same consistency. I'm going to add this kind of a, um, eh, all not really peach, not really pink, something. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's going in there on top. And then I'm going to do a little bit of cream color. I already had this stuff mixed up. Cream, and then rust I had left over. Can you see me over here? Yeah. Then I'm going to use some yellow. I bought these little, they're like little um, drink bottles with the lid here. I mean, the little pop-up lid. I know I'm going to have to take this off and wash it each time I've used but I stored some paint in it. We're going to see how how this works. First time squeezing it out of one of these little bottles. Should have my paint upside down. That looks pretty good. And the green. Maybe easier to take the lid off and just pour it. I like that idea better. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to add just a little more cream and more rust. And what's in the cup first is what's going to come out last, which is kind of a pink color. So. Um, don't really know how this is going to turn out. We'll see. It is what it is. Okay. I think that's it. Maybe a little more green. There's plenty of paint for this. And I stuck that paper down in the middle. See how that works. To um, keep it from running and pooling down in the bottom of that. Um, not sure where to start. Just start. pink. I'm going to pour some more. Maybe. Oh, 
like that green with the rust. Give it a whirl. Pretty. Okay, I see. That looks pretty cool. A little more of the pink up here. And then I'm going to put the rest on the glass. It's going to slide off anyway. Okay, let that set for just a second more, and then I'm going to move it off, and then we'll tilt the glass and see what we get. I really like that. Wait, do this. Now that I want it to squeeze out. Ah, oh, not really a squeeze, is it? Okay, let's see what we can do here. I like that yellow. Mm -hmm. Here's Okay. Oh, it's more yellow in this down here, too. We'll do that after I take this off. I think it's ready to take off. Okay. Gently. Interesting pattern going here. Let's 
too much pink in there. Okay. And next um, video, I'll come back after that's dried and show everybody what it looked like after we got through dripping. And we're going to pour off some of that pink. For sure. to do this. It kind of looks like it's closing up by itself. And because this is not porous, you need to pour off as much paint as you can. You can keep just a thin layer or it'll take forever to dry. I don't have my torch in here, so I'll wind up torching it after the video. But it'll just be popping the, the bubbles, it's not going to be adding any cells or anything. Do I like it like that? I think I do. Alright, there we go guys. And Next video, I'll show you how this is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll pause you here and take you down for a close-up. That's what I'll do. All right. Be right back. Okay. First, I'm going to do a close-up of the piece of glass here. Still have to pop some bubbles, but you can see. Sorry about the glare. Pretty awesome looking. Pretty cool. I like that corner. I like the lines. It's very cool. Alright, and the vase. That is going to be a vase. It's a candle holder, but it's pretty cool looking. I wonder if I can take that paper out now and kind of see what I'm talking about. Well, it did go in some, but that's okay. That looks really cool. And then it'll have this up on top. Oh, I got paint on my flower. You know my thing. I'm going to go around the corner here. Sorry. I'm in cramped quarters. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully not too much longer and I'll have my studio set up and I can have some little better videos going here. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time, hopefully, in my art studio. Bye-bye.